This hop forward marks a small first step in the tricky science of regenerative medicine. Nicholas Clark used to have difficulty keeping his balance. Even my walking was severely affected, so I was wobbling a lot when I walked. He'd lost much of his lower leg muscle in a skiing accident several years ago, but researchers have since helped him regrow some of it. If you lose 20 percent or more of a muscle mass, the body just can't keep up. You're left with this huge gap uh, that just fills in with scar tissue. Making the limb virtually useless. Clark is one of five patients with disabling leg muscle injuries who took part in a study at the University of Pittsburgh. Doctors cut away hard scar tissue and surgically implanted thin sheets of extracellular matrix, or ECM, in the old wounds. ECM is the scaffold-like material that holds all cells in the body together and helps them communicate. Scientists used ECM from a pig bladder, stripping away the bladder cells and genetic material so a human wouldn't reject it. It serves as this homing device that recruits stem cells to the site which then recognize the, the, where they are. They, they're in, a, in an area that should be skeletal muscle. Within two days of surgery, the patient started physical therapy, which also sent a critical message to the stem cells to turn into strong, stretchy muscle tissue. Six months later, tests showed some new muscle with new blood vessels and nerves grew in all five patients, but only three were officially a success, their legs stronger by 20% or more. Every one of these patients now has uh, uh, walks without a cane. It really overjoyed being able to ride my bike again. I can ride my bike quite a distance now, or before I was like too weak to do that. The ongoing research, which hopes to include 50 patients, is funded by the Defense Department. Three of the initial participants were injured soldiers. Cindy Sharp, Associated Press.